Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Rift Guides Wild Rift video. For today, we are going to take a look at the newly reworked Aurelian Soul. We have spent hours on top of hours, just joking, we had to go into a PvP game because it's impossible to get this champion in a ranked game. It's either permabanned or first pick on blue side. So the only way to play this champion is in fact in a PvP game to actually make sure that you have content about this champion relatively soon. So, what changed with Aurelian Soul? As you've already seen on your screen, my first ability is now a big breath of fire compared to the previous little galaxy I throw at somebody that explodes and stuns somebody. So what is the big difference? You basically start spitting at minions, and while spitting at minions you deal damage, and if you spit for longer periods of time you deal extra damage. For the laning phase there's something that's very important. You need your third ability to pull the minions together to hit them with your entire first ability. Your first ability deals AoE damage to a target that is uh, to targets that are closer or close to the primary target you are hitting. You cannot breathe through minions. So compared to the older Aurelian Soul, you lost quite a bit of wave clear in the early stages of the game, as well as gaining new mana problems. Your champion is not an early game powerhouse anymore when it comes to just snowballing the game with the power of Horizon Focus. It literally doesn't work. And in case you, you took a good look at the runes and the items in the first um, few seconds of the video, Conqueror does not work on this champion. You need to tap your first ability multiple times to get Conqueror stacks, otherwise you do not get the, um, the rune stacked, and therefore the rune is absolutely useless for you. Uh, so until this is fixed, or we get some information about if this is intended, because Riot is recommending this rune, you really need to look out to not get debated by this rune. Next to this, we need to go for defensive runes, and all you do in the early stages of the game is basically clear the minion wave. That is the most thing you are actually going to do. Your champion has barely any agency when it comes to that one, you cannot really trade with other champions. But as you hit the mid and late game, you finally turn into a powerhouse. So let's talk a little bit more about the other abilities Aurelian Soul has. The first ability is a big breath. The third ability is like a little sphere you put down that pulls people together. Your second ability is flying. And while you're flying, you can breathe fire as well. And your ultimate is a big star falling from the sky. And as you see, as you're killing minions and your third ability hitting them and you just get these stacks, your ultimate is gaining stacks as well. Every single time you get up to 65 stacks, your ultimate will evolve to a bigger ultimate that explodes onto the entire screen. It even hits, like if you're in the mid lane, it nearly hits the enemy side lanes as well. And all of it deals damage and slows the enemy. Your second ability, that's something you need to very much like pay attention to, if you cast this ability and you use your movement joystick, you will instantly cancel this ability. So you really need to be careful. Like I really hope there's like a quality of life update that you don't get punished for accidentally pressing it, but like it's okay, but you just have to get used to it. Your first ability also slows you down massively and you really, like this is one of the biggest things about Aurelian Soul right now, your champion cannot really 1v1 anymore. You need all of your spells to have a proper chance of getting somebody killed, and most of the damage will come from the bursts of your ultimate into your third ability. And your first ability will only realistically help you by hitting them from super range. And that is why the power of um, Riley's Crystal Scepter is so overwhelming on this champion. Because if the enemy is slowed from all your spells, which they are, and slows stack and wild drift, and your third ability slows as well, they have big trouble avoiding the damage you're dealing, and therefore you're able to just deal with them in an easier fashion by just dealing more damage to them. They're exposed to your spells for a longer period of time. That's basically it. As you see on the screen, like pulling those minions together, breathing some fire on them and just piecing out while the EMF just hits me once and is just basically blasting me. Now we turn on the EMF and we deal some juicy damage but we can't continue. So you see my burst damage was rather high but only in combination with all of my spells. And later in this video, you will see that I'm trying to just breathe fire onto the misfortune. And then you're like, huh? I'm barely doing any damage. And this is one of the biggest issues. Aurelian Soul in the past used to be a one trick champion that had very signature power spikes and a very like required a very key understanding of how to play the game. And if you played him well, he was decent. And he had very big damage spikes by obtaining Horizon Focus. Horizon Focus, as it is now, does not work with Aurelian Soul. Your spells only apply Horizon Focus once, whereas in the past, your lovely second ability applied it for multiple times. 
which means you had a lot of extra burst damage and you had a lot of ways to trigger the dislo uh, dislocation thing on the item which granted you two stacks which added even more damage to your burst combo. Here you don't have any of this anymore. Your third ability only applies one stack and if you're lucky two stacks at the end because for, for some ever reason it applies a second stack towards the end if they stay in it and your ultimate needs to knock them up to apply double the stacks and your breath only applies one stack. So all of these items don't really help you that much. So you really need to focus on items that make you more durable because you need to get into a position where you are strong enough in early to mid game to finally reach the late game. Your champion really has struggled during the early game. And therefore we really need to make use of either Rod of Ages or Eliandris or Rale's Crystal Scepter Rush. And I'm just um, recommending Rod of Ages because it makes the mana management a little bit easier and it makes you tankier than for example the uh, Archangel stuff. Your champion will struggle with mana, so that's something you really have to keep in mind. And you see this little Urgot uh, just yoinked the Jarvan so I can't get the kill, so I don't get blue buff, and yeah, it's, it's a rough angle. And actually, a few times during this gameplay, you will see this little crab god yoinking a target with his ultimate, and therefore my my my, my breath doesn't kill him. It's <laughs> and here now we're going to see the epic one we won against the misfortune. I'm using all my spells apart from my ultimate because I'm like, yeah, I don't need it, right? You see, <laughs> I'm just a massive wet noodle. Like, yes, I could have used any of my other spells, but I wanted to see what happens and how much damage I have. And my first ability really isn't that much of a damage like a damage tool if I'm being focused, which again brings forth another way of playing Aurelian Soul. Your champion is now played as a backline scaling champion that wants other people to tank for him. As you see, like if I have all my spells, I have so much burst damage. But without this, I lack so much damage, actually. Unless somebody is in front of me and allows me to just continuously breathe fire without getting punished for it. Alternatively, what you can also do with the new Aurelian Soul, you can fly past on the side with your second ability and then just avoid the damage while basically cruising around the fight, but breathing fire to the people. Well on top of the people like you see like I'm really just an annoying piece of dragon meat right now but my damage is really not that um, let's say overwhelming even with the items I have obviously you can make the argument I don't have items such as um, Landry's Torment uh, not Landry's Torment uh, what is it called Luden's Echo and other burst items but I believe I would be too squishy of course there is a high chance that the um the one tricks who love this champions will come up with a build that makes you able to deal a lot of burst damage in the early game and yet scale. Like I've talked with the Aurelian Soul rank 1 on the European server, he was rank 1, rank 2, rank 3 all at the same time. And for now, um, he believes, from what I've been talking to him, that the second build I've shown on the screen, like you either rush Rallys or um, Leandris Torment, is probably the best for now. For now that is, right? Because you simply can't do Conqueror. And all other aggressive runes don't really allow you to survive lane. And this is one of the biggest things now for this champion. You really want to survive lane. You want to push it out. Then rotate like the old Aurelian Soul. But the way you play is now very much linked to your ultimate ability. Or having people to set up plays for you. You are not necessarily a setup champion anymore. Because you only have your ultimate to properly set up. However, what you can do, you can use your third ability creatively by denying the enemy's pathing. Like you can place it a little bit behind them, so they're forced to walk into it, and your champion still indefinitely scales. So this ability, at some point, could potentially literally one-tap them. But you need unreasonable amounts of startups for this. And you, realistically speaking, will never get this. But if there's something that's very curious or like very cool about this champion, it's like... 
you, you can impact the fight very highly if you understand how to use your second ability in a reset scenario, where you can just keep on going and going and going, and you see how I'm just so annoying once the enemy tries to run away from me. If they're like trying to run, it's so difficult for them to escape without just dying. And even then, I can just use my second ability, which is now indicated as a teleport on the minimap. I don't even know if the enemy sees this, it would be very interesting, but it's very confusing to me to see this teleport sign on the map, because I'm like, why is my ally, like the first thoughts when I played this was, why is my ally teleport, who just bought teleport? And I'm like, nobody bought teleport. That's my, 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 my second ability. And yeah. Um, but yeah, every single Aurelian soul main needs to completely change how he has played the game. Oh yeah, and did you just see how I'm like like tapping this instantly? You can hide the animation if you hit it properly because you have to always aim. You cannot also aim your first ability. It doesn't work. You have to always aim in a way that the animation is hidden and you still deal damage to the enemy. And this way, you're able to stack Conqueror. But damage-wise, it's not worth it. If you have the ability to just fully blast your first ability into the enemy's face, you should just always let go and just cast. And that was a perfect situation for just a lot of base damage where you just see the enemy crowd being crowd-controlled the entire time, and the guy just... <laughs> you again, like, in my brain, I'm like, I want to kill him, and he just he reels him in like fish. But yeah, escaping from Aurelian Soul seems so difficult now. Like, so unbelievably difficult. It, it's easier to just hide behind somebody and make sure to use them as a shield. And with that shield, you just avoid most of his damage if he doesn't have access to all the other abilities. But yeah, like, now is a perfect moment to see even more damage. Like, you see the explosion, the knockup, and all the damage. Like, it's so much burst damage if you combine everything. And if somebody's escaping, as I said earlier, you just go after them. Yeah, it's... It's very interesting as a kit change, and I believe, like, Aurelian Soul with this got a lot easier to have impact, because you can just use your third ability and your ultimate in a teamfight to completely wipe the teamfight if you have the evolved version of your ult, because you have so high impact, and you don't need to do anything, but the skill ceiling is still relatively high, understanding how to use your second ability and first ability in a fight to relocate yourself and still have high impact. Also, um, the third ability takes now the place of the skillful usage of the previous first ability, where you just have to be very creative in how you use it to basically direct the direction of the fight. If you misuse it, you could basically just spell demise for your entire team, but if you use it well, you can just win. And here, like, it's so annoying for them. He just gets sucked in because he doesn't pay attention, and she just goes too close, and... Outside of the, the burst of my first ability, there's just not a lot of damage from my champion, right? And the funny thing is, by the way, um, his first ability has a 40% monster modifier, or like a 30%, I don't remember, 40 or 30%. So they basically killed Aurelian Soul Jungle before it even released. I tried clearing jungle, I got out of mana after finishing my red buff, after Crux, and it took me two minutes to only deal, uh, to only clear two camps and get towards my blue buff. This champion was very well taken care of to not be played in the jungle role. So, big F in the chat for all the Aurelian Soul jungle enjoyers. And if you just, like, the champion, it, it, it feels so weird. Like, I've played the old Aurelian Soul ages ago. It feels like such a weird addition to the game because the way he's played is very late game centric. Like the old Aurelian Soul was like a snowball champion, but the new Aurelian Soul is more like, like a scaling mage. So it feels very weird in the context of um, Wild Rift to play this, but you see like it's so powerful to just chase after people and now I'll just walk into the MF and get wanted. Yep, bye bye. <clears throat> Cut this away, nobody saw anything. <laughs> but she died afterwards. Big big L for me though. And now we get into another situation where a team fight is going to occur. And now I have to be creative with the way I play it, coming from the side, just dealing so much damage to all the people involved and trying to stay at max distance, breathing fire, trying to look for opportunities with my second ability, not pressing my movement button, because if I did, it's a rough angle. Getting the resets again and it's just so difficult to escape from this champion. 
But all in all, I do not like the way he is right now. I really hope they change how Conqueror works. And then we see if the champion actually works better. Maybe some bug fixes with the third ability. You know, like Cosmic, not Cosmic Drive, Horizon Focus works. But outside of this, um, it's an interesting change. I do not pr like necessarily like it. He's going to be easier to play, yes. He's going to probably have a higher win rate as well. But I do not think that I like this champion. Like, you can let me know what you believe about this in the comments below, and we'll see each other in the next Wild Rift video. So, see you in the next video. Goodbye.